What's going on everybody, it's Hot Pot King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube, and today I'm going for the most three-pointers made in a single game record. You guys already know who holds that record, it's time for me to see if I can make my mark. I'm in the NBA for one reason, man, to break records, get rings, and try to get to the Hall of Fame. So with that being said, let's see what we doing, man. I already went for 100 points, I already went for 30 assists and plus, so it's time to see if I can do this with these three-pointers, man. Is my jump shot that cash? Let's go. All right, boys, let's give these people what they came for, all right? These are our fans. This is our house. Let's get that W for these youngins. All right, now, before we start this game off, I just want to say one quick thing. I don't know what happened to my pre-game ritual with the trick shot, but it seems like me and Waz and I was talking about it last night, and we realized that we see our player talking to our teammates a whole lot more and don't even see the pre-game ritual for the trick shot. I don't know if that's a little glitch that's been happening with everybody, but leave your thoughts inside the comments section, man. But let's get this game started. Let's see what we got going for ourselves. All right, you guys already know, as soon as the tip-off is going to go up, my boy Drummond is going to go get it. It's no problem with Drummond when the tip-off, but me, myself, I got to put the moves on with no problem. Now, that pick didn't work to perfection, but I pulled up for the jump shot, missed it. But you know my boy Drummond is on the boards. And hey, look at this, man. Look at this scrap. Do he got scrapper? I don't know. Maybe. Now, coming down, it's 5-2. to two. You know me, man. I'm going to try to get three-pointers as much as I can, so I want to start running plays first. I want to get myself in rhythm. I know a lot of people probably thinking, uh, I don't know about that, but check me pull up for the three-pointer shot after I got Stephen Curry jumping. You guys already know that the replay is about to be sound, but check out that jump shot. I love Kevin Durant's jump shot. All right, now they're on a fast break. Somehow, some way, they missed the fast break, and I come up with the rebound. I'm the shortest guy on the court, and I'm grabbing Reeves. But you see me throwing nice little outlet passes and calling for it back, and you know the jump shot is cash, so let's go. All right, it's 11 and 9. You guys already know that I hate close games, right? So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to open things up. I don't know how I got an ankle breaker there, but check out that poster. I don't know where the foul is. I don't know where the ref was looking that play. But check out my vertical, man. 42.2. All right, now after I come back in from being subbed out, you know they always got to sub the king out. You know, I, I think I need that Gatorade Prime pack. But I'm out on the break. You see what I do. I pull right up. I'm not playing no games with them. <laughs> come on, coach. All right, it's 29 to 22. We're taking a nice little command lead right here. Now, I'm trying to run all types of plays to get my three-pointers off. If you notice what this play is, it's a nice isolation. I don't know where that speed burst came from, but it worked to perfection because that jump shot was cash. I thought I got fouled on that play. I was hoping I could go to the line for a four-point play, but it's all good. All right, now we're coming down. It's 32 to 26. The first quarter is almost over, but you see, I'm running plays, guys. I run my own play sets. I don't let the computer run plays for me because with the plays that I run, I'm always wide open. It's that simple. Check out the replay, man. Where is my defender? He doesn't know what to do. All right, we're in the second quarter. You guys already see that they caught back up with us with no problem. But you see, I had my boy Stephen Curry on skizzates. <laughs> All right, now, I was thinking that Stephen Curry was going to come back down the court and do something crazy to me, but he just pulled up with a weird shot. Now, David Lee, I thought he would have made that layup, but that's not the case. We out on the break. Now, me, I'm always thinking three this game, but sometimes you just got to pass it out. If it's not the right shot, then don't take it. Now, you already know what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to make sure that I'm in an open situation. But since I couldn't find nothing open, I had to create a shot myself. Now, these momentum shots cannot be stopped. You can see it in the replay, man. What's up with this 2K? Come on. Now, as we coming down on offense, the game is getting closer and closer. So you already know what I'm about to do, man. I got to pull up for a three. You see that the double team is coming. I'm just trying to put the moves on, and you know I'm taking another momentum shot to get it off. Check out the replay, man. I, I can't lie to y'all. These momentum shots can't be stopped. All right, y'all, I'm three away from the Big 12. 
All right, now it's 59-59. They caught up. It's nothing that we can do about that. But me, I'm going to call a play, man. If this is our last possession, I want to go out with a bang. So you already know that I'm coming over, pulling up for the jump shot. David Lee, I don't know what he was doing on that play. You sag off. <laughs> the man going to hit that all day, man. That's all I'm saying. Let's get into halftime. Now, presented by Sprint. Welcome. I'm Damon Bruce. A great game going on out at the Rose Garden. At the midway point, the Trailblazers are playing well. Things have been working for them in big ways as they look to keep this winning streak going. The captain dominating the first two quarters. He's already put up a game's worth of points. He's been getting it done on both ends of the court. Look at the assists. Look at the rebounds. It's all adding up to a great first half. And no quitting the Warriors. They came to win. Active hands is the way you describe their play. Getting a good amount of steals. They're playing up defensively and picking them off. Jared Jack has been on a roll in the first half. He has 11 points and is up to his usual tricks, dropping a lot of dimes all over the court. Now let's head back out to the start of the second half. Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke take it away. All right, after the longest halftime report that I've ever heard in my life, we're finally back into the third quarter. Um, you see that I'm trying to get on offense, trying to get open, but sometimes, man, when you start scoring a whole lot of points, everybody wants to D up on you. But trust me, Steph can't stop that, man. It wasn't even a screen. It looked like a screen. But, hey, if you're shuffling on your feet, hand down, man down, the shot's going in. Now, on this play on offense, I want to slow it down, you know, put my boy on skates, you know. I just brought him a, a fresh pair of rollerblades, so you know what I'm doing, man. Going behind the back, and I'm just rising, man. <laughs> Rise or grind, people. It's trying to get to the rim. I'm rising on him. Check my vertical. Look at that. 44 inches. Come on. Now, the third quarter is halfway over. It's 79 to 77. This is a very close game, but what I will tell y'all, straight up, no lie, no chase. When I am in a shooting guard, I catch and shoot. I don't care about nothing else on the court. It could be two people on me, three people on me. As long as Damian Lillard is bringing that ball down, I'm running to my favorite spot on the court, right over on the wing, and I'm taking a jump shot. Let's get into the fourth quarter, y'all. While we're still getting underway here in the fourth, let's go down to Doris Burke, who has our Sprite Uncontainable Game Report. Doris? And Kevin, for that great stretch the Trailblazers put together, they get the Uncontainable Game Award. It was in the third quarter when things started falling their way, and they were able to build this lead. No doubt they'll try to keep that momentum going through the end. Doris, thank you. And what a concerted effort they put together tonight. And you know, that was really the uncontainable aspect in this game, Kevin. They got on the same page as a team and pretty much did what they wanted for the entire stretch. Well, clearly it's a different game. Now, in the start of the fourth quarter, we're up a nice little margin right here, man. We're up 12 points, and I'm giving dimes out like a bank teller. Shouts out to the boy D. Coop, but you already know, man. I'm trying to get assists. I got my double-double rolling, and now it's just time to put on a couple more threes. Now, I don't want nobody to break my record. Once I get this record for most three-pointers in the game, I don't want nobody to try to contest me. I don't want Kobe Bryant coming back the next game saying, you know what, since he made about 15 of them, I'm going to make 20. I'm going to make it hard on this guy. So you already know that I'm coming down the court, and I'm going to just do what I do, man. I'm putting my boy on skates, hitting with the in and out, and I'm going for the momentum shot, man. I got to make what I can make. <laughs> now, check this out. On this possession, I can only do one thing, pop out and pull up for the jump shot. That's the only thing on my agenda right now is try to get as many three-pointers made as possible. I'm lights out. But... What I want to fast forward to in this game, yeah, I cut all that out, all that, all that little footage. I want to show you guys where the rage happens. Check out this, man. I go to try to defend Stephen Curry, and I overshoot just trying to get up on my man. Now, in this play, oh, this play right here pissed me off. Now, okay, I was supposed to guard Stephen Curry, right? But they had me guarding somebody else's man, so I stayed on him. And Barnes goes in and gets a dunk and an and one call. So he's going to the line for one. It's a very tight game right now. Right about now, if you guys would be hearing this live commentary, I would be cursing everybody out. I would be cursing out Wesley Matthews. I would be cursing out Batum, Smith. I would be I'd probably be cursing my own self out, man. That's how I feel right now. 
Now, you know me. I hit my free throws. It's nothing for me to make a free throw. But check out this play right here that pisses me off. The boy Thompson automatically hits him with one move, and he's out of the picture. The jump shot was nothing to hit, and that pass right there, I promise you I did not call for the pass because you guys would have saw the bad grade that said bad call for pass. I did not call for that pass, and they make that shot. Now, you know me, I'm going to the rim. I could have swore I had the easy lane for the dunk, and they gave me the momentum shot. That little part in this video can determine why some people do not press X or RT and X when you want to just automatically dunk. Sometimes you have to use the shot trigger, trigger when you're driving to the lane. No lie. You know what I'm saying? And I even called a timeout, tried to get the shot off in 0.3 seconds, and it doesn't happen. So guess what? I got the accolade. Yeah, I made the most three-pointers in a single game in my career. But guess what? I lost the game. It don't matter to me, man. The accolade right at this moment did not matter to me. I was pissed off. I was one of those guys thinking, you know what? I'm about to rage quit. But sometimes you can't do that, man. There's it's nothing you can do. But we're about to get into the press conference. And I'm going to show you guys my social media feature after this. Let's get into it, y'all. You could have kept your team alive with that shot at the end, but it didn't fall. Do you think you could have worked for a better shot or maybe you should have passed the ball off? Nah, I had a pretty good look. You can always argue that there might have been a better opportunity, but when the clock's running down, you don't really have the luxury of setting things up until they're perfect, you feel me? I think that under the circumstances, we got as good a shot as we could have expected. It just didn't fall this time and we got the loss. It's not the outcome I would have liked, but it's over and done with now. Time to move on, my man. Man, sometimes my my player has some of the the newsworthy type of answers, man. Right now, I'm so pissed that I lost this game, y'all. Man, I could have swore up and down I was going to get y'all this great footage with the win. Man, I guess I should have hit more three-pointers, dished it out to more guys. I don't know, man. I, I thought we did everything we could to win this game. I just, I just can't understand. You know what? I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I, pr I promise you I'm not mad. I'm mad. No, oh, boys. <laughs> I'm mad, man. All right, you guys. I, I see you heard a little bit of that rage from me, man. That was the only part that I left live. But right here is my social media feature. A lot of people were saying, man, he shot 62%. He had 74 points. How do we lose? Some people saying they don't even understand this game. That's how bad things were getting, man. People were hitting me up all over the social media. That, that's just what happens. But this is our KC signing out. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to see you all in the next video. Peace.